this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to make a keto dish for you. It's going to be um, keto meatloaf muffins. <laughs> I'm going to make little meatloafs. I thought something was in here was a drop of water. Um, I'm going to make little meatloafs in my muffin pan. And I saw this a while ago and hadn't fixed it and decided today I've got this ground chuck here. It's two and two and a half pounds of ground chuck. And I'm going to make it into muffins. And I've got here on this board, I've got one small green bell pepper and one small onion. And I'm going to put that in here with the ground chuck. Alright. This is a keto meatloaf. Now I don't know the stats on it or anything like that. I know that most everything that I'm using in here is um, very low carbs. So um, I've got the onion and the green bell pepper. Now I'm going to put one egg in here. <clears throat> and the way that I saw the recipe, they put cheese and bacon and all that stuff in their meatloaf, but I'm not doing that. I just like my meatloaf plain. Y'all know I'm a plain Jane kind of girl. Alright, so there's that in there. Alright, and in here, in keto, you can't use breadcrumbs. But, you can use um, pork skins, and what I've done is I've put 16 pork skins in here, and I took my cup over here, and I mashed them together, and this is going to be my breadcrumbs, and these are barbecue pork rinds, which still, these have zero carbs in them. It's Max Barbecue pork skins. Alright, so there's that in there. And you're not supposed to really use ketchup, but I haven't had any carbs today. And my um, meatloaf has just got to have ketchup. I'm not going to put very much. I am going to put some sriracha in here because I've gotten to the point where I kind of like my meatloaf a little spicy. So I'm putting in two tablespoons of sriracha. Alright. And I'm going to put in two tablespoons of Hunt's tomato ketchup. All right. Oh, come on now. All right. There's one. And there's two. All right. I've already taken my rings off because I knew what I was going to have to do. I'm going to have to get in here with my hands and just mix this all together. And then I'm going to put little scoops of um, this mixture, <laughs> the meatloaf, in my muffin pan. My oven is preheating to 400. And I'm just going to go in here now and mix this all up. God, this hamburger is cold. My refrigerator is so cold. And I didn't cook my onions or my peppers because even if they're a little crunchy in here, because in this meatloaf, it'll still, I like, I like my onions with a little texture to them. So, all right, I'm going to go on and work this and get this together and I'll bring you back when I get ready to put them in the muffin tins. Okay, I'm back. 
Alright, then this is all mixed up now together. And I'm just going to make it into little loaves. And put it in here. And they can't be very big. About like that. Put it in. Mash it down. And I'm going to have to put a pan underneath this one to make sure these don't come out. Because my look, I, the grease always comes out if I don't put something under the pan. It's too much. Just push them down in there and get these muffin Get this muffin tin full. There you go. And I'm going to put salt and pepper on the top of it. And I might have some of this left over. If I do, I'll fix it tomorrow. So I'm going to get off of here and do the rest of these. And I'll bring you back when I'm going to put them in there in the oven for um, 25 to 30 minutes and I'll bring you back when they get done and we'll look at them and see what they taste like okay I'm back all right so here's my dinner I cut these in half just to make sure that they were done and they are and they smell amazing my house smells amazing Mm. Mm -mm. Oh, yes. And that is really good. Mm. And I have Brussels sprouts, which the recipe to that is on here. And this is my cucumber salad. And I love this. It's cucumbers. I didn't put any onions in this one, but usually I put onions in it. But this is cucumber, green peppers, tomatoes, um, apple cider vinegar, and some Italian dressing. And it's really good. Mm. Mm. Let me get another taste of this. This is really good. Alright, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and also there'll be links to different products that you can buy on Amazon that do not cost you any more than it would if you clicked on Amazon, but it does help the channel out. It helps me with money to uh, buy food to cook for y'all. So... I will talk to you later, and you have a good night. Bye.